Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Key Creations. So I purchased this sign at Dollar Tree here, and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And I thought that was a really nice sign. So we're going to use this sign to make a wreath today. So the supplies you're going to need are, um, this is a 24-inch pine wreath. So I got this from Hobby Lobby when it was half off, and I think I might have paid $4 for it. So you're going to need that. You're going to need some white mesh, and this is 10-inch mesh. Uh, we're also going to use some of these um, little trees here. And um, I got some from, uh, I think, Hobby Lobby, and then I got a couple of them from um, Dollar Tree, I believe. And you're also going to need um, some snowflakes. We have these, these little deers here. We're going to use those. You're going to need your wire cutters, some scissors, your rotary cutter. I um, also have these berries here we might put on, on the wreath. You're also going to need some pipe cleaners. And you're going to need your hot glue gun and glue sticks. So let me get set up and when I come back, we'll get started. Okay, so before I get started, I'd just like to say Miss Tina over at Rhapsodies and Ribbons. She gave me another shout out in one of her videos and um, thank you so much, Miss Tina. She is so supportive and she's just a sweet lady and she is very talented. So go over and check her channel out. I'll put the link to her um, channel in the description box. Thanks again, Miss Tina. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to put some ruffles on the wreath at the bottom. And so we are going to actually cut seven 20 inch ruffles. So we're going to cut a piece here and just take your mesh and spread it out here. And we're going to take our rotary cutter. But if you don't have a rotary cutter, you can always use um, scissors and a ruler. And we're going to cut at 20 inches. And so you're going to want to cut seven 20 inch pieces. And this is 10 inch mesh. Okay. So I already started on the wreath. Um, I placed. Uh, um, some of the ruffles on there already and so at the top here I have two ruffles in one um, tie and all we're going to do is use um, the pine needles here for um, to put the mesh on and so I've already put two here and I placed one here and I'm going to put another ruffle on top of that one and so let me go ahead and do that right now. So you'll take your um, mesh here. And you'll you kind of spread it out here. And take your fingers up the middle and just scrunch up the middle here. Okay. And you have your ruffle. So we're going to take our ruffle. And I'm going to place it on top of this other ruffle here and we're using these pine needles here as like twist ties and so we'll put it on like that okay and so I have two ruffles in this tie and two ruffles in here and so I have one one here I have one here, and I'm going to put another one right here on this side. So you'll have a total of seven in all. And so I'll come here and do another ruffle. Okay, and just scrunch it up the middle. Okay, and then 
I'm going to place it down here at the bottom. And I'm going to use little pine needles here. And I'm going to place the mesh in there like this. Okay, so we have a total of seven pieces on here. Okay. And so the next thing we're going to do is start putting um, our little embellishments on there. And I also have the sign ready to be put on. And so what I already did was I placed um, pipe cleaners on the back of the sign. And all I did was use my hot glue gun and put glue around and over the pipe cleaners. Okay. And so... We can attach the sign. And so I think, like, I want to put the sign right here on the side. Okay? So, you just put your pipe cleaners down through here. Okay? And then we'll just attach it in the back. So for this part down here, just kind of move your mesh out of the way. Let's see if you can see that. Just move your mesh out the way and put the pipe cleaners down through there. Then you can turn it over on the back and tighten it up. Make sure your sign is where you want it. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is start putting um, the little deers on there and the trees. Okay, so I have already um, placed the deers on there. Um, and so what I did was, let me turn it on the back. I used um, the little pine needle needles to wrap around their little legs to attach it. So I went ahead and did that. And I might go back and just put a little bit of hot glue on there. But it's holding pretty good with just those um, temp, um, not tensile ties, but pine needles around it. Okay, and so the deer is also, they had these little ribbons on there, these little ribbons, and I um, didn't want them on the deer, so I, I am going to use it to cover up this hole in the sign here, so I'm going to place that right there in a minute. So, um, also I have these trees here, and I said earlier um, I thought I got them from Hobby Lobby, but I think I got these from Walmart, and I got this one and that other little one from um, the Dollar Tree. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put, um, start putting trees on. And so I'm, I'm just going to use the, the little pine needles to wrap around the base of it. And just connect it that way. So I'm just going to put one here. And so, like, the sign has, um, I tried to bring out, like, a lot of the elements in the sign. You know, such as the snow here the, on the sign and the deers. And also, the sign has little snowflakes in it. And so I don't remember whether I showed you guys in the beginning, but I'm going to probably put some of these snowflakes on here too. And um, so we have the one tree right there. And so I want to come over here 
maybe up here we'll put the, the bigger tree and I want to kind of hide the base of the tree with these so you won't see the, the white part okay so do that like that okay you know I'm gonna have to straighten it out a little bit and so I want to come up here and put maybe put a tree down in here Right here. You just kinda kinda hide it, the base of it a little bit, so you can't see the white part. Okay. And so I also have this little this little white there too. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick him kinda back here. Like he's walking in the distance or something. Let me see. I'll put him out a little bit. Kind of right there. And I'll go back and tie his legs down a little bit. Okay. And so in between, let's see. What else? We have another tree. Um, not sure where I'm going to put this tree at just yet, but I have these snowflakes, so I think I'm going to go through and just place some of these snowflakes on. Definitely have one kind of hanging down, a couple of them. Just look like they're falling. Just wrap the pine needle like this. So we'll put that right there. So I'm gonna go through and just and just finish up. But you know, this is what it kind of looks like now. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, once I get everything on there real good. Um, and glue down and everything I will come back and hang it up and let you see how it looks so here is the wreath completed and I just went through and kind of um, reinforced some of the stuff with um, the hot glue. And um, so this is it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And if you would please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a blessed day.